Today was a big travel day, lots of walking going on. Uh, we left, uh, actually we checked out of our hotel kind of early. We left our luggage in the lobby um, because we knew we weren't gonna get back too early or at least before checkout time because we were heading to the fish market. Sunri and I back in eight years ago went to the fish market and we found it so exciting. Today, uh, honestly, it wasn't as exciting because last time we saw like these huge tuna fish heads, you know, 100 pound heads uh, floating around, big, you know, 1,000 pound tunas. Uh, this time we only saw like little kind of tunas. Uh, here is like a mausoleum. Uh, I'm forgetting exactly what it was, but it was right next to the fish market, kind of like a, uh, yeah, I don't want to say it because I don't want to say it wrong. But yeah, here's the fish market. Um, it is an exciting place, you know. You can see live like shrimp and clams and crabs and all sorts of fish our kids had never seen before. Uh, so that was kind of interesting. But yeah, we did miss out. I think we didn't get up early enough. Uh, but yeah, there's a pretty extraordinary... Um, yeah outer market where you can kind of do your shopping and there's food and stuff so it's kind of a fun atmosphere i love this kind of uh yeah these kind of alleys where there's so much is going on and things are really bustling something about it just really gets me uh gets me going so so i like visiting these kind of places um yeah so we had a good time checking that out uh afterwards kids were hungry so we stopped by denny's denny's is supposed to be like a family style restaurant in japan uh, apparently a lot of other uh, restaurants kind of copied them. Uh, but yeah, Denny's is a little different than American Denny's. Uh, I thought it was kind of similar, but everyone was saying that Denny's is so good. Um, personally, I'm not a huge fan of Denny's, and I didn't like this that much. But outside of their breakfast menu, it looked pretty good, but we were there for breakfast, so that was that. Um, yeah, from there, we decided to go to the Tokyo Castle. Um, and visit there if you get there early enough or at I think it was nine o'clock and one o'clock They have uh, free tours, but they only give it to like the first 75 people who arrive So we tried to make it there But we just didn't get there in time and we didn't want to wait till the one o'clock because the kids were kind of getting crazy And they needed their nap. Oh, here was an ice cream vending ma machine that we tried for the first time uh, Kids really liked it. I thought it was meh, but uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fun trying all these vending machines that are everywhere. So here we're coming out of the station to the the main part of the Tokyo oh, yeah. or the outer part of the Tokyo Castle. Yeah, here was a big like moat area. There's a lot of moats going on, a lot of walls. There's these big fish. Uh, this guy came up and was feeding the fish, and uh, he gave us he let us borrow some crackers too to feed them. Uh, but yeah, big fish. Anyway, kids had a good time feeding those guys. And then after that, uh, we traveled towards more of the inner part of the Tokyo Castle. Yeah, the gardens at the Tokyo Castle are free for public viewing. And so that's what we decided to do today. Alvin's super excited. Alvin has a lot of energy. All our kids have a lot of energy. I feel like out of all the kids in Japan, our kids are always the ones running around and going crazy. I don't know, maybe that's because of our uh, own upbringing and uh, our, my own wildness anyway. Yeah, so those are the Tokyo Gates. And then here's a view of some of the gardens. That, oh, these gardens are extensive. You can spend hours in this place and just walk and walk and walk. Oh man, these carp are so cool. They're, and they're, you know, you can see a carp, koi, I don't know what the difference is, but yeah, you can see these koi fish everywhere, um, which is really cool. I think they're so cool, cool to have these beautiful gardens with uh, fish roaming around and uh, just makes for a really cool experience. Our kids really enjoyed walking through this part of the gardens, especially because uh, Kaylee, <laughs> Kaylee's there jumping from rock to rock and just super scenic too so yeah just really enjoyed ourselves at this gardens uh everyone was getting tired so we found this nice patchy uh meadow up on kind of the top part of the uh, the gardens area let the kids run around a bit i actually took a nap right on the grass um yeah and that recharged me i was hoping the kids would take a nap with me but nope they just wanted to go running around and sunry was excited to see more of, of the historic things which is what she's interested in me not so much uh but yeah kids got pretty exhausted after all that so we headed back on the train here's both kiddos sleeping on us um so i guess they had a mobile nap today and yeah and then we went back to the hotel to pick up our luggage to continue our journey on to our next hotel uh, which was actually a pretty exciting hotel. We got a Disney hotel. Um, like I said, a lot of these places we'd never stay at because it was so cheap. But because uh, work's paying, 
you know, decided to take advantage and stay at some of these nicer hotels and nicer places and have a good positive experience to Japan. So the kids there, you know, embracing of their year long trip away from their home and their friends and their school. And I think it's working, you know. Um, and also, uh, Disney, you know, our kids, I told them like three years ago, we'll take them to Disney once they see. <laughs> Oh, this is Valen on our way to the Disney Hotel. We found a playground, let him burn off some more energy. Um, and I thought this was a good uh, good representation of trying, trying, trying again until you get something. Um, so Valen was practicing his vaulting. And uh, yeah, his first couple ones were really good. And then he messed up, but then he kept trying, which was good. Oh, this was hilarious. Look at this mini bulldozer. Uh, yeah, we just stumbled across <laughs> this grown man on this mini bulldozer. Anyway, not to say it's not efficient or anything. It was just funny because we've never seen anything like it in the States. Um, yeah, Valen's been a trooper. He's been helping out Kaylee. I don't think she appreciates too much when he picks him up. She wants daddy to hold her all the time. Uh, but the other two boys, they've been walking everything. You know, they've been doing really good carrying their backpacks with most of their clothes in it. Uh, Kaylee has been a struggle. She's been wanting to be carried. I think she sees Caden being carried and she just wants to resort to that. So this is the uh, entrance into Disney uh, theme park area. So there's two theme parks. There's Disneyland and then there's Disney Sea, which is more like a water themed uh, part and I think newer. Uh, but this is the Disney monorail, which will take you to the uh, Disney hotels and uh, into the different parts of the uh, park. Um, so that's kind of cool. Uh, you can get an all-day pass. I think it's for 660 yen, which is about like 450 at this point, 450 cents. And this is the hotel we stayed at, the Grand Nico, which looks really cool. Uh, honestly, I was a little disappointed. I thought that the central uh, atrium here, those pools, they're really just fountains. And I had, I had kind of talked the kids up about we're gonna have a pool and everything, um, but yeah, ended up just being fountains. So. Didn't have a pool. Did have a nice bath though, um, as all these Japanese hotels seem to have these deep tubs where we can really enjoy as a family. Um, yeah, so this is the room, which was fine, you know, not, but and a nice balcony, which we ended up eating at at one point because we didn't want to get crumbs all over the rugs with a nice bay view. Um, so yeah, really nice hotel, I guess, but I wish they had a little more amenities. Uh, none of the hotels we've been staying at have had pools, which I, don't, I kind of find unusual for, especially how expensive they are. Then we went to, um, yeah, this, this, not inside the actual Disneyland, but outside, you know, they have like shopping center, they have restaurants, they have food, uh, lots of food, which is really good options, I think, for, uh, for parents to, you know, have a cheap meal. Uh, there's even a grocery store. This was cool, like a vending machine store, thousands, maybe a thousand vending machines of all different sorts of little things and little goodies you can buy. And they had all different kinds of shops um, and not priced too bad either. We ended up going to the Rainforest Cafe, which is what Sunry always wanted to eat at. I didn't personally like, actually, I think we both thought the food was quite meh. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this trip. Stay tuned for tomorrow where we actually visit Disney Sea. Godspeed.